morning everybody we're back in Alberta on our way to Edmonton from Burnaby BC the truck is all ready to go I'm just checking the tires now it's the last thing I check we got this big bin on our truck Three hours away, oh, two and a half hours away from where we're gonna drop this off in Northwest Edmonton. Looks like we'll be ready to go. Two more. Ready to go. Safe to operate on the highway gets my stamp of approval. Put my KOA for 2000 biography belongs. Thanks for clicking the video. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. We make new videos every day. Uh, this trip I've been, I went from Winnipeg out to Vancouver Island and we got stuck in the lower mainland of BC over the weekend and now we're back up here delivering in Edmonton and from here I'm hoping to get back towards home in Winnipeg well, around Winnipeg, I don't live in Winnipeg let's clarify that no more mountains we got a little bit of the rolling hills here left but the Rockies are behind us back on the prairies feels good to be back on the prairies Canada Highway 16. Well, do we got DOT sitting right over here? Is that police? Right in the median? Or is that construction vehicles? Yeah, it looks like construction vehicles. Yeah. No DOT. Your destination is on the right. I see that. <laughs> Metro Pass in Edson, Alberta. Time to fuel ourselves up with some Alberta juice. It's cheaper at Petro Pass than at Flying J by five cents per liter. Uh oh. This tank, yeah. No, this thing works. Okay. Yeah, there's one pump covered up here, but that's not the one I'm going to use. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay. Should be good, right? A little further. There we go. Okay, so we're fueled up. We got 570 liters or 150 US gallons. And uh, we paid $1.41 a liter with the discounts. In BC, the price was $1.61 a liter. Uh, 
this fuel should last me down to Manitoba where I'll have to fuel again and that'll be cheaper there again unless if they put the tax back on the fuel by the time I get there I guess we'll see okay let's go get this freight off our trailer now it's been on my trailer for too long it's weighing me down and I don't want it anymore uh, that's not true it's not that I don't want it anymore it's a really good load I just want freight that's taking me home that's all get rid of this freight get some new freight that's going further east how do I get out of here Straight. I feel just off to the left and then I pulled in here to park so I could go in and grab food. <laughs> I didn't want to block the pumps. Okay, we're here to be unloaded, so I'm going to take the straps off, take the chains off, and they're going to unload me right here in the yard, and I have a reload waiting for me in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, a load of lumber that's going to take me home. So let's get this thing off here. Okay. So they've already signed my paperwork, now I'm just waiting for them to unload it off my truck. All the equipment is off, it's all put away. All they gotta do is just yoink it off and I'm on my way to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan to pick up my next load. I got my three mile walk in. Well, it's actually two and three quarter mile walk. Did jog for a quarter mile of it. Slowly working my way up to being better. Then I went and had a shower, and I grabbed a coffee and a bite to eat, and we're off. We're gonna get loaded tonight yet, in Meadow Lake. They load till 10 p.m., and it looks like we'll be there between 8.30 and 9. So we'll get loaded tonight, we won't get too much further from there, but we'll get a little ways. And I should be home tomorrow evening. Sure. 
This is Saskatchewan 17. I can see the sign off to my left already. I don't see any signs here saying that I'm in Saskatchewan. Everyone's got a red light. Everyone. There we go. so fast. We'll probably be out of here in like half an hour. Tied down, buttoned down, ready to go. So that sign there says loading zone, no foot traffic while loading. So while he's loading me up, I have to stay in my truck, which is fine. I'm actually timing him. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I think he's looking for the freight right now. But usually once he gets going, it's like bam, bam, bam. He's got everything loaded on the truck in like five minutes. Might take a little longer this time. Oh, no, here he comes with his first lifts already. We'll see how long it takes. This is the fastest place to get loaded every time. All right, so today wasn't the best time to <laughs> time them. Uh, it took 25 minutes to load, which is still pretty good. But he's done it in under 10 minutes before. But it, he had to go find them. He had to dig them out. and. It, that's okay. Yeah, I'm not in that big of a rush. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to time him, see if he could beat his own record. But ah, maybe next time. So 25 minutes to put this on here. I've just got to throw some straps over them. Two, four, six, eight. And then we'll be on our way. 
Uh, we'll be back at our yard in Manitoba. Uh, this load's going down to West Des Moines, Iowa, but I'm just going to our yard and another driver's gonna hook onto it from there because Old Blue needs to go in for its annual safety. So I'm gonna have it at the shop by Friday. Uh, that won't be a problem because I'll have this in the yard tomorrow and tomorrow is Wednesday, so I'll be there Wednesday night. And then Thursday, uh, I've got to get my mower that I have, that zero turn. It's not a zero point turn, I was corrected. It's a zero turn mower. Got to get that all cleaned up and ready. I'm going to change the blades, maybe change the battery as well. I sold it. So hopefully we'll be able to meet with uh, the buyer on uh, Friday, I guess. So Thursday, I'll fix it up. Maybe even Thursday evening, I'll meet with him. He's a friend of mine. I used to work with him back in the day. Really great guy. It's going to be good to see him again. I haven't seen him in... Oh. How long has it been, man? It's been a long time. Since before I started doing this. So more than 13 years. We follow each other on social media. And that's how we found out about that the moor was for sale. But uh, it's crazy how, you know, people you work with and, you know, your friends. Life goes in different directions and suddenly you don't see each other for a long time. And great guy though so I'm looking forward to meeting up with him again he wants to buy our mower so hopefully it goes through and hopefully it works out sounds like it's a done deal but you know nothing's done until the exchange is made so <laughs> as of right now it's sold but uh, we'll see maybe something happens maybe something happens in his life that uh, suddenly just doesn't work out that's okay too but that's the plan so we're gonna get this home tomorrow Thursday the next day we're gonna get that mower ready for my friend and then uh, next week, Monday, Old Blue goes in for the safety. Uh, it's gonna get more than that done. It's getting its annual safety done. It's getting a full service, oil change, grease, filters changed, everything, a whole once over. Uh, and also, uh, we're getting it polished. Wheels, tanks, uh, wheels and tanks. I, just, I have to remind them, I'd actually like them to do my steps too. But it's gonna be looking pretty for our next trip after this. Ten o'clock now and another driver just rolled in the gate to get loaded right at their closing time <sighs> they are loading him but for me personally i don't like doing that if i know that they close down at 10 i won't get here any later than 9 30. we're cutting it pretty close today already we got here at nine showing up right at 10 i mean he's i'm sure he wants to go home too but Technically, their hours are until 10, so if you show up at 9.59, I guess. Not something I would do, but uh, it's their problem, not mine. We're all tied down. And we have about three hours left for us to drive tonight. Let's see how far we get. Maybe we get down to Saskatoon, maybe a little further. Who knows? I'll talk to you later towards the end of my night. We made it here to Radisson, Saskatchewan, and everybody's parked all over the place. But I did find a spot where I'm out of the way, where people can still get around me. So I parked over there, yeah. As long as people don't drag their trailers over my hood as they come around here. Should be good. I'm just gonna walk to the back and make sure there's room to get around the back here. Always, always do a walk around before you go to bed. Make sure you're not blocking anyone in or blocking any access. See, people can still come from the driveway, which is right there. Right. This is all filled up here. There's me. There's one more guy over there. Got all the space to go around. I know it's kind of dark, can't really see nothing. But I think I'll be okay here. There's a little bit of a soft spot here though. Oh, it's too dark for you to see. But, oh yeah, people will be just fine. No, it's not too soft. Don't manage. Alright, let's go to bed. Tomorrow we go home.
at least I'm hoping we're gonna get home tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty late. I won't be able to get moving. It's 1 a.m. here right now, so that means it's 2 a.m. back home in Central Time. I'm still in Mountain Time here. So, uh, <coughs> guess I get up as soon as I can in the morning and rush back home. I'll probably get home uh, after our son goes to bed already. Probably miss that. But uh, I'll have to talk with the wife and see what time it ends up being. Cause I gotta bring this trailer to our yard. Gotta get my straps off of it, put them away in my truck. Run over to my shop, put old blue away, get all my stuff out of it. Gotta take everything home to wash and clean. I've been gone for a while again. And then when I get home, the dogs get very excited. So we can do it in a way that it doesn't wake up Theo. But uh, gotta be very sneaky and careful about it then. And I can surprise him first thing in the morning when he gets up. I always love doing that. So we'll figure it out tomorrow. Right now I'm going back there. I'm just gonna get all these files onto the computer. Uh, and I'll edit this up once I get home at some point, probably during his nap or something on the weekend. If you want early access to all my videos though, they're usually up between like two to six days early on the internet, uh, but I only release one per day. So if you want early access, you can always become a member by clicking join now below every one of my videos. You can read more about it there. You can become a premium member to get uh, uh, early access. It's like for the price of a Starbucks coffee every month. Just, just if you want to. If, if you're not interested in that, the best way to support my channel, which doesn't cost anybody any money, is by hitting that thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. That helps it a lot too. And uh, you know, the best thing actually is by hitting that share button and sharing my videos to your Facebook, to your X page, to your, uh, uh, what other pages are there now? There's so many of them. Uh, there's, what's that other one? Threads, uh, Telegram. Uh, I don't have a Threads or a Telegram, but I do have an X account. You can find all my social media down below every video in the description there, but feel free to share the link to this video anywhere you want to, as long as you're directing them back here to my channel. Uh, that always helps me out a lot. Good night, everybody. Pay attention when you're out there on the roads. Take your time, leave a little bit earlier. Uh, don't rush, don't tailgate. Use your turn signals. Be safe. We all just want to get home to our families. Take your time, we'll get there. See you tomorrow.